OK, now I've shown you the basic functions of AutoKick. I'm now going to show you a new feature I've added, which is being able to run external scripts whenever AutoKick changes from enabled to disabled or vice versa. So to enable this, you just type in true here. The user and password is designed to stop remote running of your script. So only this plugin can run your script. So change it to something that isn't easily guessable, but something that you don't use or cross the internet, because that, that would just be stupid. So make sure it's something that's not that you can remember, but other people won't be able to guess. Then the URL is obviously the URL of the script you want to run, assuming you have the, a website to run it from. Otherwise, this feature is not useful to you. So test.php, and then save that, and then we'll run autokick. And AutoKick is now enabled. And I'll show you how to use the script in PHP. So, whenever this is run, it sends four parameters. And that's the mode, the message, your username that you set, and your password that you set. The mode is what current state AutoKick is in, so if it's being disabled it will send 0, if it's being enabled it will send 1. Then the message is the message you're currently using when you enable or disable AutoKick. Even when you disable AutoKick it will still send the last message sent, so you'll have when you're reading from the database you will have to add something so that if, if, if the mode is 0 then don't show that message if you were going to show that message. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you a quick authentication method. So it's user and changed me for the username and password. So we'll just check that here. So post username if it doesn't equal user or the posted password does not equal change me. then we will print authentication error and that line is then sent back to the console and logged so that you can see if something has gone wrong um, and then we exit to stop any further any more of the scripts being run so none of your um, SQL stuff will run so I'll now show you a quick just, just a basic um, SQL command to update it I'll show you what I've got on the database at the moment so select I've got a small table called test. So we have the mode, the message, and the update time. The message is just A at the moment. Um, that's all I've done. I've only put that in there because I'm only going to use an update statement. If I was going to use an insert, I'd, if I was going to do this more complicated, I would check to see if it exists and use insert if it doesn't or update if it does. But I'm just using update, so it assumes something's already in there. So we'll update test and we'll set our mode and our message and the update time. We'll just set that to now. And then to keep this secure, we'll do a real escape string on the data. Let's go C. Okay, so that's the mode. Paste that because uh, I'm lazy. Just change this to message. Okay, and then that's that's that part done. So then we'll do we'll run the query. Okay, so that run the query, and then what we can do is we can check to see if there's an error. So let's go see. If there is, we'll print error. Otherwise, we'll print success. And that's it for your script, really. So, what we'll do is enable auto kick. I run in 30 seconds, actually. We'll just uh, 
just change that just to speed things up a little. Let's reload that. So enable one, there we go, auto kick running and it says success. So if we go here and select it, there we go, the mode has been changed to one, the message is map clean up in progress and it shows the current update time or the last update time. Um, and that is run when you use enable or change so we can change the message to zero. So that's changed it to that, there's our new message. Um, and it also changes it when you disable auto kick, so it's auto kick disable. There you go. So the mode has been changed to zero, but the message is still what we used last time. So you'll have to account for that when it comes to reading from the database. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. If you have any problems, go to kdmdesign.net forward slash ak, and that'll take you to the bucket dev page. If you have any comments or questions, you can put them there as well.